Hello brewers and lab nerds. Next thing we're going to go over is the uh, universal change formula. You can use it for a lot of different things and I'm going to show you a couple of them here. First, the formula is very easy. You just take one volume, multiply by something, it could be temperature or how much sugar is in it, the alcohol, anything, plus a volume number two and whatever the temperature or sugar or whatever you're talking about is in that volume. That's going to equal these two added together, the two volumes, so volume one plus volume two times whatever the outcome is going to be. Um, a lower temperature, higher temperature, lower sugar, higher sugar, uh, lower alcohol, higher alcohol. So here's a, one example. You're uh, sitting there with 10 gallons of beer and it's currently sitting at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to lower it to 68 and you have cool water at 34 degrees but you need to figure out how much to add. So you're adding 10 gallons of 75 plus an unknown amount of water, so X at the temperature is 34 and that's going to equal the 10 gallons plus the unknown amount, so volume 1 plus volume 2 times the outcome, what we want is 68 degrees. And from here it's just solving for x. So 75 times 10 is 750 plus, so we're done with this, plus 35 times x is 35, excuse me, 34 times x is 34x equals, now we have to distribute this out, 10 times 68 is 680, done with this one, plus 68 times x is 68x. So we see where there's the most amount of x we have it on this side. So we'll subtract 34 from both sides. So we end up actually in this case with 34 still, because 68 minus those 34 is 68. We have 750 on this side. We subtract off the 680. We end up with 70. So uh, just 70. So 70 equals 34x. Then you divide everything by 34 to find out what 1x is. And you have with x equals 2.06 gallons. So in this example, you need to add about 2 gallons of water with a temperature of 34 if you wanted to crash it down to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And you started with 10 gallons at 75 degrees. Here we have an example number 2. In this case, we have a known amount of alcohol in the first beer, we're going to blend it with a lower alcohol beer to end up with a 6% alcohol beer. The alcohol in the beer we're blending with is 3%, but we don't know how much we need to blend with. So same formula again, volume 1 times the um, A, which is 8 in this case, plus volume 2 times B, which is 3%, it's going to equal the two added together, plus or times 6. So 100 from there and we want it to be 6 gallons or 6 percent at the end so times 6 plus x the unknown amount times the same 6. So when we solve it here 8 times 100 is 800 plus 3 times x 3x equals distribute out 100 times 6 is 600 plus 6 times the x is 6x. Then we solve it. 6 minus those 3x is 3x. 800 minus those 600 is 200. Solve for, uh, th or divide by 3 to solve for x. x equals 66.67 liters. So in this case, we needed to add about 66 liters of 3% alcohol if we wanted to dilute it to a total of 6%. Now for this last example with the universal uh, change formula, I have 14 gallons that the pre-boil was at 1050. So I'm just going to write down the 50. I want to find out, I want the final grav or the original gravity of this beer to be 56. So I want to find out how much water I have to lose to get down to 56 from 50. So instead of plus, you can always do minus as well. So 14 gallons times the 50. 
from 1050 minus an unknown volume times we know there's zero sugar in the water that boils off so times zero equals the volume that's boiling off minus oh, excuse me the starting volume minus an unknown amount x that is boiling off and multiply that by what we want it to be at 1056 or just 56 so we go ahead and solve end up with 14 times 50 is 700 uh, x times 0 anything multiplied by 0 is 0 so it's essentially just 700 equals 784 which is 14 times 56 minus the 56 x from here move x across you get over to the positive x again so now you have 56 x equals this 784 minus 700 so equals 84 now we want to solve for x 56 x is 84 so divided by 56 x equals one and a half gallon and since we know our x was the unknown volume that we had to boil off that means we have to boil off one and a half gallons to get our total sugar content up to 56 uh, so if we started with 14 gallons we would have to get down to 12 and a half gallons Now for that last example, if you want to boil off a certain amount of water to get to the original gravity for the beer, there's a simplified uh, way of doing it as well. You just want to calculate how much sugar is in the solution total. So you take the volume and multiply by some form of a reading. So if you do it in uh, bricks uh, or if you do it with like a 1050, you know, the British version, so in this case, I took 100 liters multiplied by 12 bricks. That gives me in that solution that's never going to be more than 1,200 sugar points. So this is, let's say, our pre-boil volume and measurement. If we wanted to end up at 15 bricks, what would be our final volume? All you have to do is take that total sugar and divide it into what you want it to be, 15 and it'll tell you, you need to get to 80 liters to get a 15 bricks reading. And this goes a little quicker, and you can divide it other ways as well. If you divide it by uh, 90, for example, say, I want to I wanna get down to 90, what would my bricks reading be? It would be just 1,200 divided by 90, and you would get up, uh, end up with a certain bricks reading. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Cheers.